we are all susceptible to suggestion to varying degrees. Individuals with strong wills and morals can purposely influence others through suggestion for their own benefit. This can be seen in a courtroom when a counsel suggests something to a witness that may be false or unfair, causing the witness to become overwhelmed or confused, weakening the value of their testimony. Hypnotists can also demonstrate the power of suggestion by convincing their subjects that a cold object is burning hot or that a harmful substance is actually harmless, leading the subjects to physically react accordingly. In a story from Dr. Schofield's book, there is an account of two reputable doctors who gestured to a man in a restaurant, informing him that he was seriously ill and should go to bed. Trusting their expertise, the man followed their advice, went home, took to his bed, and tragically died. Although it is assumed that the doctors did not anticipate such a drastic outcome, this incident highlights the impact of suggestion on our beliefs and actions. Suggestion can subtly influence us over time, such as through repeated advertisements for certain products like pills, eventually leading us to either use the product ourselves or recommend it to others. Suggestion can manifest in various forms through our senses, sight, sound, taste, smell, and touch, impacting us constantly unless we develop a strong, resistant mindset. Television, newspapers, magazines, and social media, along with all forms of advertising, including pharmaceutical products, are powerful channels for suggestion. For instance, the media can create associations between symptoms like sneezing or back pain and specific ailments, leading viewers to believe they have these conditions merely by suggestion.